In this example, we're told to circle the prime numbers in the list below. Now, if you've memorized the list of prime numbers, you can just recall which numbers are prime and which numbers are not. Even if you don't have the list memorized, though, this is pretty easy to do if you know your multiplication tables. We're just going to look at these numbers and think, are there numbers that I can multiply to give me any of these numbers, numbers other than 1 and itself? Now 2 we said is prime, let's circle that, and 5 is prime, but when we get to 6 it's easy to recall that 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So 6 has factors other than 1 in itself, so it's not prime. So we're not going to circle it, we're circling the prime numbers in this example. 9 is 3 times 3, so it is not prime. 11 though, the only factors of 11 are 1 and 11, so 11 is prime. But 33, you probably recognize immediately that 33 is a multiple of 11. 3 times 11 is 33, so that's not prime. 41, though, is prime. And 45, again, if you know your multiplication facts, you recognize that 45 is 9 times 5, or you might think 15 times 3, but either way, it's not prime. And we have a name for these numbers that are not prime, the numbers not circled in the list. A number that's not prime will have more than two factors, and, it, and these are called composite numbers. Write that down, composite, and that's a good name. You can think of these numbers as being composed of other numbers, like the number 6 is 2 times 3. Those two numbers give us the number 6. So the word composite is a meaningful term, and here we're told to circle the composite numbers in the list below. Well, 2 is not composite. A, num a composite number is defined as having more than two factors. So two, 2, remember, is prime. But 4 is a composite number. 7 is prime. 9 is composite. In all of these cases, if you can find any numbers that multiply to give you this number, other than 1 and the number, then it is composite. So 9 is 3 times 3. 11 is prime, 13 is prime, and in this case we're circling the composite numbers, but 15 is not only 1 times 15, but also 3 times 5, so 15 is composite. Now the number 1, again, is interesting. We, we said earlier that 1 is not prime because it doesn't have two factors, and a prime number is defined as having exactly two factors. The number 1 is also not composite because a composite number is defined as having more than two factors. So the number one is considered neither prime nor composite. And every other natural number other than the number one will be either prime or composite.